Salman Rushdie, suspect pleads not guilty after stabbing attack. The suspected accused of attacking Salman Rushdie pleaded not guilty to attempted murder at a U.S. court on Saturday evening. Rushdie, whose writing led to years of death threats, suffered severe injuries in the attack that happened on Friday as he prepared to give a lecture in New York. The author of Satanic Verses, which some Muslims see as blasphemous, was taken off a ventilator and is able to talk again, though remains in a critical condition in hospital. Andrew Wally, the British writer's agent, confirmed the news to the U.S. media, having said that Rushdie will probably lose an eye and that his arm and liver were damaged. Police identified the attacker as Hadi Matar, 24, of Fairview, New Jersey. He is of Lebanese origin. Matar was arrested at the scene, with the incident taking place shortly before 11 a.m. local time, and appeared in a New York court on Saturday wearing a black and white jumpsuit. He pleaded not guilty to charges of attempted murder and assault. The motive for the attack, which prosecutors called a pre-planned crime, remains unclear. The attack on the 75-year-old Rushdie sent shockwaves throughout the world, with world leaders and writers voicing messages of support and championing free speech. The world-famous author was the target for more than 30 years of a fought well by the late Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei over his work The Satanic Verses, published in 1988. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson tweeted he was appalled that Rushdie had been attacked, while exercising a right we should never cease to defend. French satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo, which suffered an Islamist attack in 2015, said nothing justified a fatwa. Iran's state-controlled media have praised the attacker, who was immediately arrested and taken into custody but did not assign a motive for the assault. Congratulations to this brave and duty-conscious man who attacked the apostate and vicious Salman Rushdie, writes Iran's ultra-conservative newspaper Kahan. Let us kiss the hand of him who tore the neck of the enemy of God with a knife. However, Ordinary Iranians told reporters at AP they feared the attack would further isolate Iran. This will negatively affect relations with many, even Russia and China, said Mashid Barati, a 39-year-old Iranian geography teacher. A NAP reporter witnessed Matar storm the stage at the Chautauqua Institution in western New York State attacking Rushdie in the neck and abdomen while he was being introduced. The Indian-born author was flown to the nearest hospital and operated on urgently, New York State Police Major Eugene Stanishevsky told reporters. Baroness Lady D'Souza, a British politician who led the defense of Rushdie after the fatwa, said the incident highlighted the threats faced by writers across the world. It seems to me that there's one important lesson here, which is no one anywhere should ever, ever, ever be threatened with death for writing a novel, she told the BBC. Yet we seem to be living in a world, despite Salman's fight, where that could well be a possibility. Police did not give a motive for the attack. Rushdie's book The Satanic Verses has been banned in Iran since 1988, as many Muslims consider it to be blasphemous as it makes suggestions about the Prophet Muhammad's life. Iran's leader Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini issued a fatwa, or religious decree, calling for Rushdie's death one year later, after the grinding. Stalemate 1980s Iran-Iraq war decimated the country's economy. A bounty of over $3 million has also been offered for anyone who kills Rushdie. Iran's government has long since distanced itself from Khomeini's decree, but anti-Rushdie sentiment has lingered.
In 2012, a semi-official Iranian religious foundation raised the bounty for Rushdie from $2.8 million to $3.3 million. Rushdie dismissed the threat at the time, saying there was no evidence of people being interested in the reward. That year, Rushdie published a memoir, Joseph Anton, about the fatwa. The title came from the pseudonym Rushdie had used while in hiding. Rushdie rose to prominence with his Booker Prize-winning 1981 novel Midnight's Children, but his name became known around the world after the satanic verses. The Chautauqua Institution, about 55 miles southwest of Buffalo in a rural corner of New York, is known for its summertime lecture series. Rushdie has spoken there before. Rushdie was born on 19th of June in 1947 in Bombay, two months before India's independence from the UK, and raised by a family of non-practicing Muslim intellectuals. After the fatwa was issued calling for his assassination, the author was forced to live in hiding under police protection. He has lived a relatively normal life in New York since then, defending his books as satire. Atala Mohadrani's reaction to Rushdie assassination, I am ready to take advantage of this golden opportunity. When Imam Khomeini's fatwa about Salman Rushdie came out on 25th Bomb in 1367, I told my dear friend Hossein Sheikh Al Islam to prepare the book for me. The book of satanic verses arrived two days later. I reviewed the book, I consulted with Dr. Sheriff Uddin Kurasani and Dr. Reza Brani about the difficulties of the text. I was a student at the University of Shiraz, in the language of the Faculty of Literature, according to Jolal Ahmad, was English, between Hafiziya and Sada'iya. I wrote this explanation to a respected scientist who is an Algabe scholar, and he said that I did not read Rushdie's book and that my comment is pointless. The book, Criticism of Satanic Versus Conspiracy was published 30 times in the last 33 years by Information Publications and later by a Mid-Iranian in September 1368. It was my first book in the authorship of Shirin and Guevara. Edition of 31 books, the second edition of a mid-Iranian, will be published with the introduction of the new publication. God willing. During the vote of confidence in the government of Mr. Katami, in August 1376, the late Sads asked me, Mr. Mohadrani. Answer me, if you see a growth, you will kill him. I said, no brother. I am a writer and my job was to explain the Imam's fatwa and criticize the novel, you who go into solitude should do the other work. It has been the case that in the past 33 years, I have been involved in a growth story. Years ago, a gentleman who said he was a judge at the Hague Court and an international lawyer announced that he would file a lawsuit against me so that the London Court would expel me. He used to say, give as much coffee as money so that the money will be paid. He pocketed a sum of money and was not a judge or a lawyer. Even today, after Rushdie's injury, the same song of my book and Imam's fatwa has been renewed. I consider the trial in the London court more brilliant than the impeachment. I am ready to benefit from this golden opportunity. Be serious. If the flood of the sea is full, Every wave will be like hash, what sorrow for the bluebirds. Until the bird in the air was sad.